Hey there, I'm Nancy from Black Sheep Knitting in Needham, Massachusetts. You're going to hear probably some background noise um, during the podcast there. It's a lot of construction outside the shop. Um, not much we can do about that. Um, hopefully they'll finish in the next couple of weeks because we've been suffering through this for a um, couple of weeks already. I wanted to update you on some things that are coming up. The main um, thing to tell you about is the Greater Boston Yarn Crawl. We do this every year and it's four days of 15 shops that you can visit in the metro Boston area and we have, um, there'll be passports that have a map on them. Um, I don't think you have to pay for the passports this year, um, but it will give you a map and show you where everything is. And we do have a website so you can look it up and see what shops are having um, what events. The Yarn Crawl starts on Thursday, September 29th, I believe, and goes through that Sunday. And each shop will have different things going on. Here, um, we're going to be, um, I'm going to have a trunk show of my yarns, the BSK yarns. And Fiola, who is, um, you all know Fiola, she is, her little company is called Radish Top Designs. And she'll have bags and lotions and candles and things and soap. Um, I keep watching out of the corner of my eye this amazing a piece of equipment that this guy is moving around like it's a, I don't know what. Anyway, um, so uh, there'll be lots more updates about the yarn crawl, but mark that off on your calendar. Get some friends and um, make a day of it one of the days and visit some shops. Um, as I said, I think they're 15 this year. So lots of fun activities. We have, every year we have, we give away a gift basket for every day, so we have one every day full of goodies, and then we do have a grand prize one. There is also a grand prize one um, for all the shops that has gift cards in it, and I'm not sure what else. Um, so stay tuned, and we will be having more workshops going on in the class we in the uh, fall. Also, we do have our classes ongoing um, six days a week and four evenings. We have room, I think we may have spaces in almost all of them. I don't know which ones are full until people come back from the summer. But do call the shop if you're interested in joining a class. They meet once a week um, in eight week cycles all year round. So it's a good time to come and knit. The other um, thing that is ongoing, we have a knit along for the um, Alpenglow um, sweater, the Rhinebeck sweater that Andrea Mowry has designed. And um, we're doing that on Fridays from 3 to 5. So come and knit. You don't have to be knitting on the Alpenglow. Just come and, and knit if you want to come in and enjoy some designated time for knitting where you're not interrupted by the phone or whatever else is going on at home, come here and knit with us. We love to have people in the shop. But if you are working on this, come in. We can share all our ideas. I wanted to show you we made up new kits, which are going to be online. And Robin, if you can just feed them over to me, I'll show you the colorways. This is um, the background color on this is this beautiful rust. We have the moon in Patagonia. We have a Surrey um, alpaca and silk from Moondrake. We have, um, and this one, also, they all have spin cycle in them. And this for the, the neck, neck band and sleeves is a new yarn that we have in the shop called Lanus Light. And before I go further with that, I'll show you these are the many colors, I couldn't fit these all in the basket, but these are some of the colors. This is a sport weight yarn and it's absolutely fabulous for um, color work. And I, we got a shawl, I don't have it at the moment, but I took it home 
and um, washed it in eucalyn and blocked it in. It just came out so the yarn just bloomed. But this is one of those what we would call more of a woolly wool, except it's a soft woolly wool. And the, co the colors are just gorgeous. There's some heathers. So we put those in some of the kits. Um, this one has, um, this is a purple Patagonia with a lavender for the neck and the sleeves. You can see there's a different color on the neck and the sleeves. And then we have, um, this has a gray um, Surrey alpaca and then this beautiful red and purple um, dyed in the wool. We also have um, one we did in, knit up in Sueño or kitted up in Sueño. This is a plum color. And we have kind of a teal, dark teal for the neck and a lighter, lighter, much lighter teal for the fluffy um, Surrey alpaca and then dyed in the wool, um, Dead Reckoning is the colorway. We have a few more. These will be online, so you can purchase them online. And in our shop, they'll probably be up later today or tomorrow. This one is a deep burgundy Patagonia with the Lanus in kind of a heathery pink. And this gorgeous, um, I love this colorway in dyed in the wool called Miss Me. And the pink Surrey, which is beautiful. And lastly, oh, maybe not lastly, we have one that's in a dark teal, or maybe a medium colored teal with a white neck and this beautiful um, tear, uh, teal, light teal, Surrey, and dyed in the wool summer love. And now, last but not least, is this is one of my favorites in this gorgeous red Patagonia with the darker gray at the neck and the lighter gray in the Surrey, and then the spin cycle in. Um, stay ready. And that's a black and white with a little bit of tan. And I just, I love this combination. I think it'll come out really, really well. So that, that's what's going on there. Um, another new thing in the shop that we got this week from Barocco is a yarn called Dash. And it's a yarn that has these dashes of color in them. And it's the fun thing about this is it's on a size 13 to 15 needle. And so whatever you make out of it will go really quickly. And they have, they're featuring a pattern called Kika, which is a vest. So if you have someone you want to knit for, or if you want a quick project for yourself, this is it. And as it turns out, I think all of their patterns that Barocco has with this yarn when you come to the color, you pearl those stitches, which is kind of fun. There's also a sweater, I believe, out there. So you can look up Dash and see um, other patterns. So this is a quick knit. This is super fluffy and soft, so I recommend it. Um, then I have uh, today, I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite things. And it's kind of a favorite thing and a trick and a trick together. This is a notebook that I found on Amazon. And in this notebook, I have put all my patterns that I'm currently working on so that I don't lose my patterns, which I want to do sometimes. And here I've also, so I'm working on the Alpenglow. And what I did was I got plastic sleeves and I put two pages in each sleeve so that I can go, and often in a pattern, you do have to go back and forth. And um, many people come in the shop with um, their patterns and they're, all the pages are out of order. They can't find where they were. They don't, you know, oh, is it page this or page whatever. 
And so I just can flip back and forth to whatever I'm working on. So I keep in all the things that I'm currently working, although I need to update. This is one I just finished called Aknana Naha. Um, this is a Kate Davies pattern, and I'm going to take this tape off and show you why I have tape. So when you're working, this is my other tip, I'm working on a lace pattern that has a chart. Well, you can't, unless you're a genius, you can't start knitting, look at your knitting and go back and see where you are on your chart. But if you have this, I have washi tape, but there's also a highlighter tape you can use. And so I have it underneath the row that I'm working on. And I have this in a plastic sleeve so that I don't want to put the tape on the photocopy because it'll start taking the ink away with it. So I do this and I absolutely cannot knit without doing that. And if I have, you can hear um, Robin's dog in the background, Cody. If I, um, sometimes a pattern will have you go from page to page. You know, you're doing part of one thing and you have to look at a chart and then you go back to another page. So if you have all of these in plastic sleeves and in a notebook, you can go back and forth. I'd like to say this was my original idea. It was not. It was Monica in one of my classes who I saw her doing that one day and I thought, wow, and what a difference this has made to me. So I do recommend you can get these lovely decorative um, decorative notebooks on Amazon or at your local stationery store. So that's my little tip and trick for this week. And then I thought one thing I'd like to do on these podcasts to show you things I found on Ravelry that I think would be really good knits. The first one I want to show you is um, a sweater by Caitlin Hunter. Many of you know her designs. And this one's called Easy V. And this is a color work sweater. And it's got sort of blousey sleeves. If I do this, which I might, I think I won't do the blousey sleeve. I think I'll make a straight sleeve just because I tend to get my sleeves in food and everything and I like something that fits tighter on my wrist. And this is done in a worsted weight yarn. We have lots of worsted weights in the shop. Um, so lots of colors to choose from. So this is a, and I thought the color work on this is fun. She uses um, um, Dream State from Spin Cycle Yarn for the color work. And we have, right now, we have three colorways in Dream State. And we have on order several more. So that's a good one. Or you can just do it with, you know, if you have scraps around or if you have a variegated yarn, it's very pretty with color work. So that's one idea. And another, um, Agnes just walked in. She's back from Latvia. Hi. hi. We're doing a video. Oh, Say hi to everybody. To We're yeah, so remember, happy to have her back. This is another one that I found, and I forgot to pick up pick up the yarn that I wanted to show you. If you, I'll be right back. This is a hat called Cozy Megan. And an, again, this is one on. You can see it's a fuzzy sort of. I think it might be done in a boucle. We don't have boucle, but I do have this really beautiful cashmere blend um, from Trendsetter, and it's cashmere and merino. Is it one skein or is it double? It's one skein. Um, oh gosh, I think it's just one skein, but I can double check that. In any case, we had this beautiful soft yarn in these colors, which I think are great colors for hats. It's a quick project, very soft and lovely to wear. So those are the colors that we have in stock. And it's called Sofio, Sofio, S-O-F-F-I-O Cashmere. So I do recommend that. 
as a simple project. And lastly, another pattern I found on the internet. And this one is called Elin Bandana Scarf. And a lot of you may have seen, we're getting one knit up for the shop, the Sophia Scarf, which is a smaller version of something like this that you just tie around your neck, like a little bandana kind of thing. And um, they're quite popular now. So this one I chose because it was a little bit larger and it's striped. And I'll get you the gauge in a minute. Is 23 stitches over 4 inches in garter. Here's it. It is in another colorway. So we have lots of yarn that would be, we have some cashmeres that would be great. We've got, and you can do this and I think it says this in the pattern, in any weight yarn that you want. Um, and just remember that if you're using a thinner yarn, it'll be smaller. And if you're using a heavier yarn, you have to use the needle that your yarn recommends. Um, and if you are using a heavier or thicker yarn, it's going to be larger. So that's, and that holds true for scarves, anything that you're making that doesn't really have to fit. Um, so I like this because of the way it, it really looks like it's fun on her and here she's tied it and it's got thinner and thicker stripes. So those are three patterns that I thought might interest you. We have tons of yarn in here um, for you to choose from. And we have, s we often have a sale bin with sale yarns um, for those of you who like a bargain. And I just want to end with, um, I was texting back and forth with someone this morning and I, she was going through some health issues and I thought, how lucky we are that we have this wonderful craft of knitting, that it's just such a pleasurable thing to do. And for so many of us, it's just a passion. And I've always thought that having a passion in your life makes a happier life for you. And I wake up every day, I, you know, I do a, a ton of knitting and I dye yarn and I own this yarn shop. And I think, could I have a happier life? I'm not sure I could. I suppose anybody can always be happier. But it makes me grateful for having this love of something that I, that I want to do, that I never ever run out of ideas for things to do. My head sometimes spins with ideas and patterns and you know I'll sit and go through Ravelry in the morning and then there are five new things that I see that I'd like to, to do and I think some of it has to do with the fact that I've been an artist all my life I love color I love texture but I love doing things with my hands and I think that's I was a potter for 30 years and that has always sort of fed my soul that I can do something with my hands I can make things and I can get lost in my work. So I recommend thinking about how grateful one can be about having something that you love to do and something that keeps you interested and focused. And for those of us who love knitting as a way to relax and sort of meditate, um, I think you should be very grateful and very happy that you have that. So that said, Happy knitting, and I'll see you in a week. Bye-bye.